Gosu, translated as cowhead, is a Japanese urban legend of a terrifying story about an animal with the body of a man and the head of a cow, which, they say, the simple fact of telling it can lead to a chain of supernatural and terrifying events. The first indications of the legend date back to the 17th century, with rumors that speak of a village in which the story of Gozu was told. It is said that the entire town was traumatized and terrified. They isolated themselves from the whole world so that many of its inhabitants ended up dying of starvation or they killed themselves, for fear that when they left the house, the cow head went for them. This terrible story of the town reached the ears of the central government, which, fearing that history would repeat itself, decided to eliminate all existing written documents about the terrifying creature, in addition to prohibiting the very mention of Gosu under penalty of death. Although such a ban couldn't prevent the story from being scattered in pieces throughout Japan, waiting for the bravest to discover it. This is the reason why no one knows the full story. Although it is said that just by telling a little bit of the legend of Gozu, many can suffer serious trauma and run a huge risk of death. There is a rumor, not too far away, of a school teacher who, tired of his students misbehaving on field trips, came up with a foolproof idea to keep his students calm. He began to tell all horror and ghost stories to the boys, who curiously had developed an addiction to the teacher's morbid and bizarre tales. On one of the trips, the professor promised them that he was going to tell a forbidden story, which was the most mysterious and gloomy he had ever told them, but that he would only tell it to them if absolutely all of them behaved well on the trip. And so they did. Not a single child raised his voice, fought, or did anything wrong on the excursion. Everyone wanted to know what that terrifying story would be. When they were on their way back, the teacher got up from his seat and warned everyone to keep quiet because he was going to tell them the story of the cow head. It is not known how the teacher had obtained one of the written pieces of the legend. But as he began to narrate, many of the students began to scream and cover their ears. The children shouted, stop, don't tell us. But as if he didn't hear or see them, the man continued with his story. It is said that his eyes turned white and his voice became much deeper, as if he was possessed by Gozu himself, eager to tell his story. When the teacher finally regained consciousness, everything around him was a horrible image. The bus had left the road, many children were full of blood and wounds from the blow, although they didn't cry. Their faces only showed horror and pain, but not a single cry could be heard. The driver, who had suffered multiple injuries from the windshield glass, was motionless in his seat, holding the steering wheel tightly, sweating and trembling while his face was so pale that it seemed as if he were already dead. We don't know what happened next, but the teacher never mentioned Gozu again or told any horror stories. And neither he nor any of his students ever talked about what happened. They were too scared. The legend of Gozu is very old. It became more popular when the Japanese movie Gozu, The Path of Madness, from 2003 was released. The character also appears in the anime Danganronpa, the animation, released in 2013. We haven't dared to investigate more about the history of Gozu, but if you like this video as we are intrepid researchers, we will get to work in search of the legend of the cow-headed monster to be able to tell it to you. Do you want us to do it? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, and if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!